How do you choose who to save? I swim as fast and as hard as I can for as long as I can. The sea takes a rest. Hello there. I'm Bob West, and this is Studio 7 on YouTube West. And today, I'd like to talk about a 2006 movie called The Guardian. Now, when this movie came out, it took a little bit of flack because it's a Coast Guard movie. It's not a war movie. It's a rescue movie. It's a military movie. And everybody said, whoa, it's a propaganda piece. And here's my answer to that. So what? I don't care. Is it any good? Yeah. It's a 6 out of 7 movie. Why is it a 6 out of 7 movie and a seven out of, and not a 7 out of 7 when you have Kevin Costner in it? Answer, content. It's done remarkably well. It has a very strong supporting cast. Its writing is limited because of the nature of the subject involved and the way they filmed it. And it seems like they spent more money on how to try to film it and how to stage it than they do the dialogue. So the dialogue at some points is quick, it's fast, it's, it's choppy, it's, it's brought back at you and you, you're almost ready for the words to be spoken before they are. Does it kill the movie? No. Let's talk about the cast. Kevin Costner does an excellent job as the aging rescue swimmer trying to find his place at the end of his career in the United States Coast Guard. Aston Kutcher, this guy is really good. He was wonderful on that 70s show. What he was doing with Demi Moore is beyond me, but what he's doing with Mila Kunis, I'm envious of. There's no doubt about that. Melissa Sage Miller, who's one of the girls, and Camp Clancy Brown. There are some other people that are gonna be hiding in this movie, and you've seen them if you remember Band of Brothers, um, the guy that plays uh, Buck is in this movie. He's awesome. So look around at the supporting cast, look around at the supporting story, look around at the kind of the way it's done, and you're gonna find out, yeah, this is really kind of pretty good. Music, I always talk about music. Everybody goes, why do you always talk about music? Because it's important, it's glue. Scenery, shooting angles, music, all of these things are important. That's what gets you those seven out of seven stars. What helps get this movie to six out of seven is Trevor Raven, and he is awesome when it comes to doing soundtracks. It was produced by a bunch of people and directed by Andrew Davis. It took a lot to get this thing going, but Touchtone finally got it going and finally got it in. And the scenes in the movie are filmed extremely well. 100 miles off the Alaskan coast, six members of a Coast Guard search and rescue team embarked on a mission. At the height of a Category 3 storm. Look out! Wild, 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 wild Only one would survive. There's an instructor opening at A school. No, I'm not interested. You can't always be the one in the water, Ben. I need you to train the next generation. That guy who holds all them records? I thought you ought to let him know I'm about to knock his name off that board. Maybe you should let him know yourself. He's standing in the back of the room. I've had the privilege of working on three different Coast Guard boats in my life, um, as well as cruising on a few, and I always say thank you to the members of the United States Coast Guard. Um, I am appreciative of the Coast Guard. We review the finest hours. You can never say thank you enough to these people. And because of all this luck and all this privilege is one of the reasons why I decided to review The Guardian and tell you to see the movie. If you're a Costner fan, you're not going to be disappointed. It's much better than the next three, uh, excuse me, it's much better than Three Days to Kill. There's no doubt about it. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West. This has been another show on YouTube West. Thank you very much.